Hello. You know, one thing that clients bring to me sometimes in our sessions is their relationship with friends. They tell me that perhaps they've met some friend and they thought it was going to be a, you know, a good friendship. It seemed great. And then a little while down the line, they're actually struggling with this friendship because maybe this person isn't treating them very well, isn't respecting them. And they're kind of then in a situation where they're saying, well, how do I get out of this? How do I set a boundary? Do I leave this friendship? What do I do? And it can be quite, quite stressful. Wouldn't it be nice if when we first met somebody, we could kind of think about whether they were going to make a, a good friendship or not? Not to say we have to reject them completely, but we kind of had a gauge on, is this somebody I want to spend a lot of my time with and invest in my friendship in? Or is this more somebody who's going to be more of an acquaintance or somebody that perhaps I won't follow up a, a connection with? So in this video, I'm going to give you three things you can do to kind of suss out a little bit at the beginning of meeting someone of whether you want to go ahead and go deeper into a friendship with them or perhaps not do that. So the first thing is something I talk about quite often in other videos as well, and that is your values. When you get to know your values, you can ask other people questions to find out about their values. You know, if we have similar shared interests, like, you know, a hobby or something, that's great. It's a really good starting point for a friendship because you've got stuff to share and talk about. But then within that, it's really important that you have the same values. And by values, I mean things like honesty, kindness, openness, integrity, and then other more personal values as well. If you're not sure about your values, one way to think about it is what are the things that really annoy you and what are the things that really excite you? Because there'll be a reason for that. And when you say, I really like or I really don't like whatever it is because, and write this down because, that will tell you what your value is. So knowing your values means that you can talk with this other person, have a conversation, you know, by the by, you don't have to interrogate them, but just have a, you know, in general conversation, you can kind of suss that out and see if they share the same values or maybe just the way they're talking about things will, will let you know that maybe they don't share the same values. And much as you might want to ignore that, because we all ignore things sometimes, don't we? Much as you might want to ignore that, think about it. The other thing is to really take note of how this person talks about other people, their other relationships. Because how they are with other people, I can guarantee you, is how they will be with you. We quite often you know, have situations in life where we notice something about somebody, perhaps they're a bit sort of unkind to other people, or they judge, or they criticize, or something about other people, or they're a little bit gossipy maybe, but and we kind of ignore that, and we think, oh, well, it'll be different with me. But actually, this is not about that. This is about just how they see life and how, where they're at right now in their life. It doesn't mean to say they're a bad person. It just means to say that this is how they're thinking and feeling about life and the world at the moment. But is it a match for you? So if this person is really being quite critical or quite negative or, or, or quite sort of uncaring about other people in some way, that's a red flag because they're probably at some point, they may not be doing it now, but at some point they will. Sometimes people who are like that are not so happy. And so when they first meet you, they put on this sort of wonderful sort of mask and they're so lovely and they're so kind. And it's very easy to get caught up in that. And you hear them saying, well, everybody else is horrible and I don't get on with them, but you're wonderful. But actually, that can't last. It won't last. And at some point, because they're unhappy right now, they, they'll they maybe put you on a pedestal and then realize that you're just a human being like all the other human beings in their life. And then you'll move into that category of maybe not being treated so well. So that's a really, really important thing to do is take note of how this person treats other people and how this person talks about other people. And if it's not so good, just lovingly let them go. 
It's not to judge them. It's just where they're at right now, but it's not a match for you. And the third thing is to really notice if people listen. A good relationship is based on reciprocal communication that is give and take, you know, being able to listen to somebody else and being a, being listened to. Sometimes when we meet somebody, they're so fascinating and they've got so much to talk about. And we, you know, we just really like them and we admire them and that's wonderful. But at some point that's going to run out. And if this person isn't a good listener as well as a good talker, you can end up feeling a bit kind of like things are out of balance. It's, you know, you're not being heard. You're not being given the attention that you deserve to have in a relationship. So is this person a good listener? Do, do You know, when you're having a conversation with them, is it a bit about you and a bit about them, a bit about you, a bit about them? Or is it always all about them? Because if it is always all about them, that's not going to change. And again, it's just where they're at right now. It's nothing to judge about them. But is it a good match for you? Is that what you want going forward? So those are three tips on sussing out a friendship <clears throat> before you go too far down the line with it and then have to wriggle out of it when, when it's uncomfortable. And if those three things are really good and in place, gosh, you've got a good friendship there. So what are your values? Get to know them really well and suss out if this other person has the same values, not just the same interests, but the same values. How do they talk about others? Do they respect other people? Do they, you know, criticize other people? Remember that if they are kind and respectful towards other people, they'll do the same to you. And are they able to listen? Or is it all about them all the time? And if they listen and want to be listened to by you as well, and you've got that balance, that's fantastic. So those are three handy tips. If you like this video, find it helpful, do hit the thumbs up button so that other people can see it. They'll be helped too. And don't forget to subscribe. That way you'll know when I'm making new videos, you'll be notified. What are your thoughts about friendships and sussing people out? And what's been your experience? And do you think you could do the tips that I've, I've suggested here? What would that feel like for you? So I look forward to seeing you in the next video and I'll say bye-bye for now.